Welcome back to Cottage Tranquility. In this episode, I'm meeting up with a friend and then we are going to teach me how to plaster. So this was just the inside of La Vienne uh, Tea Rooms in Chabonnet where we met for lunch. Lovely, lovely little place. So my friend Andy here is going to teach me how to plaster. Hi Andy. <laughs> right, so what we're hoping to achieve is a consistency very much like mashed potato. Okay. Pour a load of plaster in there until we get an island. Yep. Like so. And we've got about, how much water do you reckon you've got in there? About five yeah, litres? About five or six litres. Ideally, you'd do it at ten litres at a time, but not in a 15 litre bucket. Yeah. So just give it a slight whiz round. That's going to be too sloppy. And this is why we have the other bucket of water. Because what we'll ah. do is that, that trowel will get messy. Yes. So we'll just pop it in there. Shake it off. Keep it clean. Now, I shouldn't really do this, but it's the easiest way of doing it. Because it's uh, slightly lying and it will dry your skin out. Do that. The watch is waterproof, by the way. <laughs> good, good. Don't fancy having to buy you a new watch. <laughs> so you end up with like horrible dunge for a bit. That is about the right amount of lumps. Okay. We have the Keep the whisk clean. Yep. And get the trowel. And again, wipe that all in there. Wipe that all in. And we're looking for a sort of a whipped cream consistency, like so. Okay. Yep, yep. A bit like a meringue. Yes. But I'm not going to do. Try and tip it I'm upside your head. I'm not going to do the meringue trick. No. <laughs> no, I don't think it's quite as thick as meringue. <laughs> Not, not, not as light. That's the problem. Still a little bit lumpy, so I'll we'll get another whiz with the mixer. Okie doke. This is why you use a bigger bucket, because if you try and clean the whisk there, you end up it's, wearing it. Yes. Well, this is why I got changed. There's also the mix mix. Yes. And the video you doing it. Yeah, oh, by all means. So there we are, our first... First batch. Batch. It's like cooking, really. It is like cooking. You've now got a, I don't know, a Victoria sponge. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't um, eat it, though. Right. We need that bucket and that bucket. And we'll go upstairs. Starting to come across, you get a little bit of a ridge. And then you can use that ridge to blend the next bit into to get your thickness. Okay. Don't worry about getting it on super even or mess about with it to get it flatter because once you've got it on, you've still got plenty of time to work it. Okay. Andy's going super fast here. Now the good thing about French plaster is if you make a mess of it and you haven't got it even, you yeah. sand it. In fact, I know a guy did his ceilings and it was finished roughly like that because <laughs> he couldn't get the hang of it. And yeah. he then sanded the whole ceiling afterwards. Ooh. A lot of effort. Yeah. This is a very nice trowel you've bought here. <laughs> a very nice trowel that you, you uh, expertly <laughs> found me. Good old chisson. Now, of course, doing this for a living, people end up in naked knees because you're continually going up and down. Yeah, and mine are already so, knackered. <laughs> oh, my father in law has actually had two replacements. He was a wow. apprentice served master plasterer. Wow. And that's who taught you? Yes. 
Well, on a, on a sheet of plasterboard, you've got a chamfered edge. Right. So when you yes. join them, you put the chamfers together, which leaves a dip. Yes. And then put the beading, the, the paper or... Um, the, the tape. Scrim tape mm -hmm. in, the, in the gap. And then you plaster the gap to before you do anything else. So the plaster in the gap goes off and holds the tape in. Yes. Which is what the mudding is. Yes. Mudding. Is that a... It's just a, um, a, a, a fun. Um, it's probably an Americanism. Fin. Well, I don't know. The Finlands are a muddy mob, aren't they? <laughs> are you picking living, on me, Dad? Living in the marshes like you do, everything was made of mud. <laughs> Even bird stuff. Peep, that that that. Peep, I was going to say peat bogs. Yeah, I was going to say that takes talent. That does burning mud. It's all wet, made it all wet and squidgy. Of course. <laughs> right, right, so here we have Shelley and her second attempt, or continued attempt, at plastering. So, uh, yeah, the first one wasn't good. too bad, to be that, fair. That was actually quite good. She says, already getting plaster on the that back of the Already, track. already yeah. cack handed, and of course, we're working our way up the wall. <laughs> Backwards. And she's starting in the wrong side because she's left handed and back handed and working against herself. But oh. hey ho. Yeah. All right, so this is how. Well, you don't. Shelly does it. <laughs> uh, start lower down because you're on the wet edge. You're oh, just yeah. plastering yeah. fresh air. All right. uh, always start on the. By throwing it on the floor. Throw it on the floor. Edge. Not too much on the trail because you throw is it that on enough? the floor. That'll be fine. So just go on the whole. Uh, on the whole. Uh, you have to excuse the cack handedness <laughs> of a lefty. Yeah, I think it'd be easier if I was a lefty as well, because then I could again on the on the on the hole. That's it. And then, and then bring it back. Bring so it. So we're basically icing a cake, or the beer, a very big one. And here comes Dad carrying stuff up the stairs, and you're three at a time when it's supposed to be two at a time. <laughs> Taking two or is he still doing three? I think there's three. Oh. I don't want to do this, it hurts, he says. <laughs> oh, I told him not to do it. Yeah, but you can't tell Dad not to do it. I know. I put him on tea making duty as well to try and slow him down, but. No, no, he's probably made the tea. Oh, it now has. Be, now it's going cold, but if we go and drink the tea, the blast will go hard. I know, I'll have to get him to bring the tea up, but I might slow him down and bring him uh -huh. heavy things up. So you know all that lovely stuff you smoothed out? Yeah. Yes, well, we'll go over it in a minute. <laughs> that half look awkward doing it left-handed. It is awkward doing it left-handed. <laughs> but it's even harder doing it right-handed. Which is silly, really, because doing it right-handed, I'll be standing in the corner of the other side doing it exactly the same. So here we have the workings of a master plasterous. <laughs> In training. In training. So here we are doing the final sort of filling in, ready to polish off. As you can see, we have a nice ish wall. Not looking too bad. Oh, there's a few divots down here. Or yeah, like yeah. So we're now going to fill those. Yeah. And just. And with that round, it's all about getting the angle right. There's a rather disconcerting crack on your screen, which makes it look like it's cracked in the wall from, the, from this side. No, that's where my phone, after um, having it for ooh, a few weeks, if that, committed suicide and mm -hmm. fell off the sofa. Mm -hmm. I know, I was gutted. But, uh, so, let's try and keep the hawk out of the house. <laughs> No, it's not looking bad. So back over here, we got our little high spot that we had. Yeah. This 
because it's still there. Yeah, I suppose like that. And then I'll, yeah, okay, yeah, I think it's more of a did it filling job. That looks better already. So there we are. The, the art of being the taught art by of Andy. Being, the art of getting plastered. <laughs> yeah, really getting there. I mean, I know we've lost the light now. So here we are again. It's Wednesday and... Andy is back and he's helping me this time doing the plastering up and around and I have been gluing the inside of the panels just to seal them um, on all the walls that are going to be plastered and then we're going to just sort of wire brush down any excesses that need to come off as you can see and the inside there has been done a little bit Still need to do the plasterboard under there, and I need to mix up that. Reminds me, I need to mix up that batch, do all of that. Although it looks like Andy's actually started that for me, so that's good. You see, the outside of the bathroom's coming along. We've got some of the flooring up here now, that's all been glued. And Andy's just working on the walls there, just smoothing that out. And then we've got either side of the chimney breast will be just skimmed. And I'll take you through, see what Dad's up to in the bathroom, in the other bathroom. Well, he is, yes. So... Here we are, new toilet, which I think I showed you before. Some tiles around the toilet there, going in, the edges being done. And all the main tiles are down now, just the little bits at the back to be done. And then I've got to create the panelling across there, bath. And then we'll be putting in the sink again, I've taken that out for now whilst we tile in here on the floor and do the back bits and then the bidet will be cleaned up, the new um, tap that go on there everything will be all cleaned up and lovely and then I'll glue in here well I'll check with Andy actually as to whether it needs it um, and then plastering, he'll plaster on that and then the paint's due to arrive next week at which point start painting once it's all dried off and it'll be bathroom paint so that uh, any sort of moisture will just run off the walls as opposed to soaking in. So yeah, all good fun. It's getting there. It finally feels like it's getting there. See, now this is a tricky bit. I've put in this board because I hate screwing into alley. Plus I've got pipework going through the alley. So my idea is, if I screw this through here, get this finished, plasterboard across, go around the pipes, get that all in, then we can plaster. So we're now getting to the point of plastering the inside of here. It's all mud and taped, as you can see. We've done a bit of plastering, rough plaster on there which will need a top skim, but that won't take much. <clears throat> and then, yeah, we just need to build up along this wall, just skim across it so it's all nice and tidied in. Give me a flat painting surface. So it is time to sort this bit out. I've been putting it off and putting it off. Because I don't know about you, but anything that I struggle with, I tend to procrastinate over and put off so I kind of did up to there but now it's time to bite the bullet and crack on so here I go okay here we go so that's now filled in 
and I now need to plaster an initial sort of polyfiller type product in and around there just so that it gives it some protection and then the plaster will go on top of that as you can sort of see there so it'll be taped <clears throat> and it will be plastered okay so i'll show you again when i've done that bit okay Some of this to go and have fun with plugging holes. So latest batch of um, goo is ready to be put on. I'm just leaving that for a second, making myself a cup of tea. Yorkshire Tea, if you'd like to sponsor me at all, feel free because I do go through rather a lot. Oh, so good. Mm. Ah, nice. Enough sipping that right back to it. I'll get this on over here and make sure it's all mixed in because I'm bound to be some bits at the sides that haven't. See, there you go. This is what you find in the corners. So you mix, make sure you mix that in. Pardon you, little trough thing. So get those out of the corner because you don't want any powdery bits in there because it will weaken it if it's not mixed in properly. So make sure it's mixed in. So do that. Get all those powdery bits out. I'll mix that properly in a second. And then put that on there. So first coat on, filling in the little gaps and just trying to make it a bit more secure now i will once this goes off um i will put in some more which is a bit firmer at the moment this is quite thin just so that it sort of slides into all the gaps and then i'll build that up okay so for a filler job I'm quite happy that that is now sealed and whilst it needs a bit cleaner maybe uh, you know actually it's looking pretty good so next stage is just a skin plaster over that bit as you can see from this episode lots of plastering work going on at the moment and really beginning to get there and uh, this video takes us up to about mid-February so about a month behind schedule now as far as uh, <clears throat> my releasing videos to you so things are coming along and uh, I'm really excited that hopefully by mid-April I might be able to actually open the doors as far as bed and breakfast is concerned there'll still be work to do in the house lots of lots of projects to do um, but hopefully the guest rooms um, will be done so fingers crossed for that really important for me to start earning um, as soon as I can um, but I'm just absolutely ecstatic to really start to see um, an end in sight for the work that we're doing for those uh, rooms and uh, this morning Joe's been and delivered um, the washstand and um, an armoire um, which is a wardrobe that I ordered for the guest rooms so I've got those here as well now 
so everything is kind of coming together in place I just need to crack on and uh, get the decorating done so yeah a little bit of plaster work left to do but uh, we are getting there so really appreciate everybody who's watching um, and all of your support it's uh, absolutely amazing that uh, so many of you are enjoying watching and uh, I really appreciate all your comments all your subscriptions all your likes it's uh, re really really lovely thank you so much see you again soon Thank you once again for joining me here at Cottage Tranquility. Please remember to subscribe if you don't already. Thank you so much to all those that do. And please leave a like, a comment and share my videos just to help me expand the audience here. That would be lovely. Thank you.